Hey guys, this is Dion here with Your Guitar Academy. So in this lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at the second half of this piece we have in our very first unit. So in this part, we're actually gonna be continuing to work along with this power chord shape, and we're gonna be doing a fair bit more down picking and palm muting, but also releasing um, a certain note to let that ring out in between our palm mutes. So grab your guitar and let's get going. If you just joined us, don't forget you can head over to the website to grab all the tabs, chord boxes, backing tracks, and anything else you need to do with the course, all completely free. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, and leave us a comment and we can have a chat. Right, so it sounds something like this. Cool, so you see we're, once again, if you're watching my left hand, you'll see that I'm moving uh, this power chord shape that we saw in the previous lesson just between uh, two frets, okay? So <clears throat> first things first, you wanna start, uh, you wanna find the fifth fret on the A string, sorry, on the E string. So that note is an A, okay? And we're starting off with a open note, so as in no palm meeting, just like so, and then immediately afterwards, two palm mutes. So this is really gonna test your ability to, you know, drop your hand and get that palm mute, you know, quickly. So just start really slow with this. So just get used to going. Okay, and again. So that's one thing that's really important in this style, and you'll see it actually just a little bit later on this, in this unit. I've got a couple of exercises to help you with that idea of releasing and uh, pressing down your, your palm mute quickly. Um, so yeah, as I said, so that's our first part. Okay, and then I want you to play the seventh fret on the A string. So that's the second note of this power chord. Again, remember you can do it with your third or fourth finger, doesn't really matter. I like to use fourth, so, so far. So again, you hear that note is released. We're not palm muting that, okay? So once again. And then we have, so that was five times, five uh, uh, down picks on that fifth fret of E. So. Context-wise, it would sound like this. Okay, so. That's that cluster a bit faster, a bit slower. Okay, and then, once again, we have this open, the seventh fret of A, then two more down picks, palm muted on the fifth fret of E. And that's the whole thing. So it sounds like this, it was before we move the chord. So it goes. Okay, so once again. And now more like full speed. So that's the first part. And then all we have to do is follow that exact same picking pattern, but now just a semitone up. So I've moved this um, power chord shape up to the sixth fret with my first finger, and now the eighth fret with my fourth finger, and the same thing. So open, pick, pick, down, pick, 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 open, pick, pick, so. Now with the drums, I do it super slow. So one, two, 
one, two, three. See, the name of the game here again is that real precision so we're aiming for really precise timing really precise dynamics and also really precise um, muting with the left hand when we need we need notes to be cut off okay so a bit faster <laughs> So what happens is we go around this bit like so and then see we go back to that theme that we had earlier on which was the power chord shape and we now slid again up to fret 6 then to fret 8 and then down to fret 1 and fret 3. Okay, so the full thing Repeat. Okay, and just to reiterate, I mean, I'm going to keep coming back to this. Just remember, always maintaining that relaxed feel in your picking hand, relaxed feel in your left hand. You know, I mentioned earlier about the thumb staying behind. You know, sometimes if it does creep over a tiny bit, it's, it's absolutely fine. It's more so when you need to stretch with the fourth finger across like this, that the thumb has to remain behind. But it's just good technique and it's good guideline to follow to try and keep it there a bit if you can. Um, so let's just hear what it sounds like, the whole of that riff together, including the A section as well. So um, I'm just gonna up the drums just a tiny bit, go up to about 65. I'll play through the whole thing. Here we go. Two, three, four, and. There you go so that's that whole of the first piece with the a and the b sections together so remember just take it nice and slow initially just con constantly reminding yourself of maintaining this good technique definitely don't try and cut corners and just speed up too quickly all right it's really important as i say to try it slowly at first incrementally increase that speed um, it's you know it's really comparable I, I always compare this style of playing to kind of almost like going to the gym and lifting weights in the sense that you start light and you, you gradually just increase that weight as you go as you know over time same you know you can treat speed with this style of music in the same way you know you don't want to hurt yourself and, and hurt your arm by tensing up and going too fast early on so take it steady um, if you maintain that good technique you're gonna you know you'll be able to increase your speed but also increase it safely over time um, so yeah have fun with that, see what that feels like to get that together, nice and slow, then bring it up to speed. And I'll see you in the next couple of videos for some exercises on improving your down picking. So that's it for this lesson. So if you wanna head back to the beginning of the course, you can click here. 
And if you want to go on to the next lesson, you can click here. So leave us a comment, guys, and we'll get back to all of your questions. We absolutely love hearing your feedback. It really helps us out.